So it's been a very successful week for Manuela Schaar and a chance to add the 1500 meters title to the 400, 800 and 5000 meters. Three Swiss in this alongside Schaar. And we've got two British interests as well. Shelley Woods and Jay Jones. So Manuela Shah, three gold medals so far, and the world marathon champion in this. Jay Jones, silver so far in the 800, and bronze in the 5,000 meters for Britain. And lots of support for Jay Jones here. Patricia Keller of Switzerland, who has medaled also in the past, but not this week. Shelley Woods of Britain, again, a tremendously successful career, looking for a European medal this week. A gap because Alexandra Helpling of Switzerland doesn't start after her 800 meters bronze, but Gunula Wallengren does, and she won silver in the 5,000 and bronze in the 400. So no Helpling, so no Swiss clean sweep. They have a chance of winning two medals and Britain have a chance of winning two medals as well. Wallengren, Woods, Keller, Jones and Shah in the women's 1500 metres, T54. World champion in this, Tatiana McFadden, European record holder, Manuela Shah. So Wallengren for Sweden, Keller and Shah for Switzerland and for Britain, it's Shelley Woods and Jay Jones. As you can see, um, Shelley's trying to hit the front there, which is a very good position for her. She really needs to go out there and, and, and bring the race, and take that race, should I say, um, from the other ladies. You got young Jay Jones there, sitting in nicely, third position. Been a really good summer for Jade as well. I mean, the Commonwealth Games, uh, great for, for British para sporters. Of course, London 2012 was. Yeah, it's more exposure and, and, a, and a chance to compete on a large scale again. So it's Shelley Woods leading them out with three to go. Ganilla one and Grain just behind her, then Jay Jones, and then the two Swiss. It's Keller and Shah with Helbling not making it to the start line. But Shah, you expected Marcel Hug fashion will make a move sooner rather than later. And maybe sooner. Good break over on the far side. Q Manuela Shah, she's going for it immediately. Two and a half laps to go. She's shot out ahead of the rest. Wallengren fighting the two British athletes, Woods and Jones, who are second and third at the moment. Manuela Shah opening up a gap of around 20 metres, but a chance for Jones and Woods to try and fight back in this, Mikhail. Definitely. I mean, for me, they don't need to panic at this stage. They're coming with a race plan. They need to stick to their race plan to some sort of degree. They just don't want her to, um, to go out too far. Yeah, she's well out in front of the moment, Shah. It's about 30, 40 metres, and the two British chasers are there, as you might expect, Shelley Woods and Jay Jones, and they're covering Patricia Keller and Gunilla Wanningren at the moment. That's second, third, fourth, and fifth. But in terms of the lead, well, you can see visually what the gap is. It's around 60 metres or so. Manuela Shah, three gold so far. There's been a good British move right at the front of the chasing pack. Jones and Woods both up there. But Manuela Shah, well out in front. It's the second last time she's going to take this, Ben. She's well out in front. One gold medal last year in the World Championships in the marathon. Tatiana McFadden dominated the T54. She won five goals. The bell is on the way for Manuela Shah on her way to gold for Germany. But the biggest battle again, Mikhail, is happening behind her. Well, definitely. Now, Shelley and Jayla are in a very good position here. What they need to do is not settle too much. They're going to be obviously approaching the bell, so they need to make sure that they've got their race plan ahead. Now, Shelley's just leading there. Um, Jay just outside her. So what I would suggest now is Shelley needs to keep that pressure on. But as you can see, the stroke patterns of Jay Jones there. 
sharpening up. And Shelley is actually responding, which is good. So it's the two Brits fighting for second and third. What they need to do is keep the pressure on Ned. That's a good response from Jade there, because she's, she's under pressure from the outside. Well, that's the big battle that will be decided in a few moments. It's the race within this race because the gold medal is going to be won by Manuela Shah, and Shah is well out in front. You can see the rest are coming into sight now. Manuela Shah is pretty much out of sight for the rest. She's going to take the gold medal for Switzerland. It's her fourth European title of the week. Now, who's going to take the silver medal behind this great Swiss athlete? It's Wallenbrun who's made a big move, and the two British athletes will have gone a bit too early. It's Wallenbrun who's going to take second place, and it's going to be third for Kella for Switzerland. And it's Jones fourth, it's Woods fifth. Victory for Manuela Schaar. Wallengren second, Keller in third place. It's Switzerland who take the gold from this one and another great win for Manuela Schaar. Well, she's having one of the weeks of her life. She's taken four gold medals here, four European titles ahead of Wallengren and Keller in second and third. And it was only at this stage that the rest were coming into sight, maybe 70, 80 metres behind. Shara made a big move with two and a half laps to go, well out ahead of the rest. An excellent victory for Manuela Shah with Wallengren second and Keller third. And Jones and Woods were doing a nice little bit of battling as well, but just found themselves left behind in fourth and fifth and a big smile for Manuela Shah, who, like Marcel Hoog, had a nice margin of victory there. Well, they had a very successful staging of the European Athletics Championships in Zurich last week, and they're mopping up a great deal of medals here in Swansea this week. It's been a great month for Swiss athletics. Well, Manuela Shah obviously came into um, this race um, at least um, six seconds um, faster than the other ladies. But what was impressive about, about the, the, the two Brits you know, it looked like they had a, a, a good race plan there. Um, Shelley pushed out um, with 300 to go. And then Jade obviously was following, which is what we really wanted to see. Um, obviously, uh, the class of the field was um, Manuel um, Shah, but they didn't panic, I didn't feel. At 150 to go, again, they were still pushing. And then when you come into the home straight, um, with, with wheelchair racing. It is about um, who, who has got the better finish and you just got to keep pushing. It was Shah, 355 dead, Wallengren second, Keller third. Who has got the better finish and you just got to keep pushing. It was Shah, 355 dead, Wallengren second, Keller third.